Hi, this is Angela. We're here at Atlantic Pressure Washers today in the shop to talk about a burning question on the minds of a lot of our consumers right now. And that is, how do I best clean the hull of my boat? So to answer that question, we've got Josh Lee, the original Josh, off-site today to field test two of our units. The Kronzla K1122 TST electric power unit and the Dirt Killer H200 gas power unit. But I'm not going to tell you all about them right now. I'm going to let Josh show you what they can do. So let's head out to Josh at the marina. We're here going to test our pressure washers on this 33-foot Chris Craft. Uh, as you can see, it sits in the water the majority of the season. It's been in since April. It's now August, so we have six months of uh, schmutz and grime buildup on the surface. Uh, we can even hear the barnacles speaking to us, don't hurt us, don't hurt us, but today we're killing some dirt. First model that we're going to test is the Krenzla 1122 TST electric pressure washer, followed by the H200 dirt killer pressure washer gas model. The electric model, K1122 TST, great for the meticulous boat owner that wants to routinely clean their boat every time it comes out of the water. It's going to do a great job of of keeping this grime off the surface and preventing the barnacle buildup here as well. So we're going to test a small test area to see how much of the barnacles that we can get off and really see how much of that grime comes off with the pressure washer. So you can see right here it did a really great job. Got even the boat grime off that you're not going to get with a regular garden hose does a even got off a fair amount of the barnacles so now if you're a meticulous boat owner you pull the boat out of the water every time you use it this is the pressure washer for you it works inside and outside the boat it's only 1400 psi so it's not too strong you'll be able to use it on many different types of surfaces and that is of course the 1122 tst has a pressure gauge two different types of nozzles and it even has a total stop feature that shuts down the motor whenever you're not spraying to save both electricity and pump life. So now if you do keep your boat in all season long like this Chris Craft, then you're going to need a little bit heavier punch and that we're going to get out of the Dirt Killer, which is our next episode. So like and subscribe and don't forget to turn your water on. Hey, this is Angela. We're back in the shop and woo, that was a lot of schmutz. But anyway, what we found out was that the K1122 does a great job taking that schmutz off the boat. It's just not necessarily a one pass barnacle buster. So just to reiterate, the K1122 TST is a very versatile machine. It's electric, which makes it very portable, quiet, no exhaust, can be used inside and outside. The machine is low flow and low pressure, which makes it eco-friendly. You can use it at high pressure with your rotary nozzle and double the impact of the machine, or you can use it at low pressure with your Vario nozzle, which works in both low and high pressure functions, so you can soak and rinse the boat at the same time. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions about the K1122 TST. In our next episode, we're going to talk about the Dirt Killer H200, which is 2,000 PSI, 3.5 gallons per minute, packs a little bigger of a punch, more of a barnacle buster. So, if you have any questions, give us a call, stop by and see us, check us out on our website, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn the water on.